Building reliable AI voice or chat assistants can be a daunting task. The process of prompt engineering alone can take countless hours of tweaking, yet still leave you with inconsistent results. If you've ever felt overwhelmed by the complexity and unpredictability of prompts, you're not alone. In this video, I'm gonna show you a game-changing solution. How to create an AI agent using VoiceFlow, a powerful low-code platform that eliminates the need for heavy prompt engineering. Plus, I'll demonstrate how to seamlessly connect your AI agent to Vapi, a leading platform for AI voice agents, all without writing a single line of code. We'll cover these three steps. Building your AI agent on VoiceFlow, setting up your VAPI assistant, and integrating both of these platforms together. I've been working with VoiceFlow for over a year now, refining AI agents that are both flexible and reliable, as seen in the various templates and projects I've shared. Now I'm excited to share these insights with you so you can bypass the common pitfalls and achieve consistent results faster. By the end of this video, you'll be equipped to create AI voice agents that aren't just functional, but capable of handing complex conversations without the limitations of traditional prompts. If you are a business owner, this means cutting costs and gaining more control over your AI systems. If you need further assistance, feel free to reach out. I'm here to help you bring these solutions to your business. So to get started in connecting our VoiceFlow agent to our VAPI assistant, all you need to do is sign up for a VoiceFlow account. You can get a free trial version of the VoiceFlow platform. Once you have gone ahead and signed up for it, go ahead and create a new AI agent. And what you'll land on is a page similar to this, which is a Canvas designer. This is where we build the AI agents that go on the VoiceFlow platform. If you did wanna learn more about VoiceFlow and building AI agents on the VoiceFlow platform, I do have a one and a half hour tutorial, which you can go ahead and click in the top right to go ahead and watch that through. The main benefit of using the VoiceFlow platform right here is the fact that we can actually create and really control the conversation rather than using the prompts. Now we still can, use prompts through the VoiceFlow platform. We can use a response AI and set AI, which essentially just uses the traditional prompting to get the responses that we want. And we will be using that in conjunction with some of the predetermined blocks of the VoiceFlow platform. So hopefully now you have an assistant built out on the VoiceFlow platform. This right here is an assistant that I've been using on my website. I've gone ahead and added in a new block at the top that just says this is a test. Purely just to demonstrate the connection between VoiceFlow and Vapi to show that this is working. And the first message that the bot will read out is this is a test coming directly from our VoiceFlow project. And this will call itself out on our Vapi assistant. The next step in creating this is going to Vapi and creating a brand new assistant. If you did want to learn more about the Vapi platform and building assistants on the Vapi platform, I do have a two hour tutorial where you can learn pretty much everything there is to know about this platform. Whilst we won't be using the prompt and instructions that Vapi provides us with, there is still a lot of other settings from the voice, the transcriber, and other settings on Vapi that we will still be using. So the first thing that we're going to do is go to the top left corner and click on create assistant. This is going to be a really bare bones assistant that we're creating. I'm just going to name it demo, select the blank template and click create assistant. So once you've created the assistant, the first thing we're going to do is input a first message. Now the first message is going to be one of the only things that gets transferred over to our assistant once we connect VoiceFlow to it. So the assistant is essentially gonna read out the first message when it's called or it calls somebody. And the assistant prompt will pretty much be completely overread by the VoiceFlow assistant. So I've just gone ahead and typed in hello. This is the VAPI first message just to show you the VAPI system reading out the first message from here. Once you've done that, this page is essentially complete. The next thing we can do is look into the transcriber. Similar to the, our other voice assistants, you can set this to whatever setting you'd like. I typically like to use the default DeepGram. Then for the voice settings, you can once again change these settings. These settings will affect the voice assistant because none of this is controllable on the side of VoiceFlow. So if you'd like, we can go ahead and swap this over to 11 Labs and choose any of the 11 Labs voices. And this will essentially read over our voice flow outputs using the 11 Labs on the VAPI platform. For the functions and tools, these are gonna be completely overridden by the voice flow system. So none of these are going to be activated because we're not using really any of the platform system prompt uh, assistant that is on VAPI. We're purely gonna be using the setup on voice flow. So you can go ahead and create what's called intents, which are essentially the tools and functions uh, sort of way of doing it on VoiceFlow. Once that is all set up and done to your liking, we can go ahead and click publish. Once your VAPI and VoiceFlow accounts are now completely set up, we're gonna go over to a website called voiceflow.org. VoiceFlow is a customization platform on top of the VoiceFlow platform. This is the main platform that we're gonna be using to merge VAPI and VoiceFlow together to create our assistant. So all you need to do is go ahead and sign up for a brand new account on VoiceFlow. Once you land on your VoiceFlow dashboard, you're gonna see a tab called agents. Agents are where we connect our VAPI and VoiceFlow accounts. There's also a lot more integrations connected to the VoiceFlow platform. I have created quite a few videos on this platform as well. You can check those out to learn about some of the other things this can do. 
But for now, we're gonna go ahead and click create new agent. And what we're gonna do is select the advanced voice flow plus voice glow. And once again, we can just give this a fake name. So demo video, and then we hit create. Once this has been created, we now need to connect our voice flow account to our voice glow assistant. We can do this by simply going to our voice flow chatbot right here. We can go back on this back tab, go over to the integrations tab and what we'll see is an API key and we're also going to get a project ID from here. So we'll just copy our API key. We'll go back to voice glow and you'll see that we've got two tabs for voice flow API key. Just paste that in there, go back to voice flow, click on web chat and we're going to go ahead and copy this project ID. That project ID is going to go right here. So that is specifically for this particular AI agent here on VoiceFlow. I'm going to go into our workflow here. And what you'll see is that's already connected itself automatically. And these are the three sort of bubbles that have come directly from here. So this is essentially a platform built on VoiceFlow to sort of create custom web widgets and voice widgets like we are right now. So it's a really good customization platform. So now we have successfully connected VoiceFlow to VoiceGlow. Super easy to do, just two different codes. Now make sure to hit save in the top right and we're gonna go ahead and click on channels. And now we're gonna integrate Vapi to VoiceGlow. So come down to the bottom right where we see voice and the sort of phone icon and click on connect. Now what you'll see is I've already connected Vapi to my agency. So I will show you how to do that. But what we're gonna do is connect our Vapi credentials to VoiceGlow and then add in our assistant ID that it corresponds directly to the assistant that we just set up and then it will start working right away. So to connect our VAPI account, just go over to the left here, it'll open up a tab and we can click on credentials. Once we've done that, you'll see that there is a thing called VAPI credentials and right here we're entering a public and private API key. We can get this information by going back to our VAPI dashboard. We can get this by going down to our email and clicking on API keys. Once we're here, you'll see we've got a private key. We can go ahead and copy this, go back to VoiceGlow and paste this in the box. Go to our public key, copy this and once again, paste this in the public API key box. Make sure to hit save and now your VAPI account is completely connected to VoiceGlow. Now that VAPI is all connected to our VoiceGlow account, all we need to do is grab the specific assistant that we want to connect our particular VoiceGlow AI agent to. So we can just go back to VAPI right here, click on assistance and just find our assistant that we're just using. So in this case, I'm using one called demo. We click on copy assistant ID in the assistant that we just built. I'm going to go back to VoiceGlow and I'm just going to copy my VAPI assistant ID right here. And now we are completely done. That is all we need to do from the VAPI side of things. And the last step is just to connect use of VoiceFlow agent. We're going to turn that on right here and hit save. Once we've done that, we're going to go back to our VAPI assistant. I'm just going to refresh the page. And what you'll see is that down here, it is going to swap over to the VoiceGlow uh, large language model. And you'll see that it has, you can see here, custom LLM URL is now connected to VoiceGlow. So instead of using OpenAI through VAPI, what we're now doing is essentially sending all of the requests for what the assistant should be saying to our VoiceFlow uh, API. And we can do that through the VoiceGlow platform. So let's test if this thing actually works. I'm gonna click talk with assistant. Hello, this is the VAPI first message. Hey, that's great. Uh, can you respond back to me with something? This is a test. Hello, thanks for showing interest in our services. I'm an AI agent here to help you with any questions about our services. So there you go. That is automatically connected itself to our VoiceFlow assistant. As you can see there, it walked through this block and then moved on to these blocks here. Had a little bit of a spelling mistake there, but anyways, that is connected and working. Uh, and you can see, yeah, it didn't obviously use our system prompt because there's nothing in our system prompt. Uh, and it directly connected itself to the VoiceFlow assistant. If you want to learn more about building assistants on VAPI, you can go ahead and watch my two hour tutorial covering everything there is to know about building AI voice agents. And if you want to learn how to build AI chatbots on the VoiceFlow platform, you can watch my one and a half hour tutorial covering everything there is to know about VoiceFlow.